Hey guys, it's Yao. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. So in this video, I'm going to be organizing, well not organize, well yeah, I'm going to be cleaning out my, not cleaning out, I'm going to be emptying the stuff in this cart and filling it up with books instead. So right now it has like a bunch of like stationery and like art supplies type of stuff. So I'm going to empty that out. And then after that, I'm going to be choosing my TBR for April randomly. So yeah, without further ado, let's just get straight into the video. I think I finally got the intro this time. I try to refilm it so many times, so yeah. So I'm going to empty this out now, and I'm also going to be watching Avatar, Am the, the animated version on my laptop. Believe it or not, I actually haven't watched the entire thing before. Um, but I'm on season three, which is the last season. So I'm going to be really sad once it's done because it's like a, such a good show. And literally, I don't think anything else on Netflix can top it after this. Because, yeah, everything else is just not as good in quality. everyone it is the next day and i have organized my book cart all i have to do now is make my tbr prompts because i only have three in here and i don't think i'm gonna be using a random number generator wheel so i am going to just make the prompts right now and yeah i will be back once the prompts are made <music> okay guys i am back now and i've made all the prompts and i've put them into the jar and i've also put on a sweater um because i was cold and i've changed the angle so you can somewhat see the cart not really anything from the second row to the bottom but I think the angle is a little bit better than before because you can actually see the cart which will be necessary when i am choosing the props and choosing something from the cart so yeah i'm just gonna choose the props now okay <laughs> so let's choose the first one. Oh my god there's hair stuck to my lips because i put on some chopstick I'll choose this one that's like coming. Well, I don't want to choose it just because it's falling apart. Let me choose a different one. Yeah. This one. Okay, let's see what it is. Here, you guys look first. Makes you smile. Aw, I love that. What a nice start. Okay, so let's see from the books that I've got. I'm gonna have to change the angle because you cannot see this anymore. <laughs> okay, I'll be right back. Okay, you guys, you're welcome. I moved to the floor for you <laughs> so that you could see it better. Um, but, okay, this angle is not much better, but I think it's fine because you can see both rows um, more than before. So, book that makes you smile. Well, how can I know if it makes me smile if I haven't read it yet? <laughs> okay, so the obvious choice would be this one, The Soulmate Equation, because this is a romance and it'll probably be something just very feel-goody, make you smile. I could choose that. Mm, 
maybe this one. It seems like a fun little mystery, so it's kind of making me smile in that way. I'm not really sure. Honestly, most of the books that I have are kind of dark um, or heavy or not really something that's like a feel good type of book. So let's see. I'll just choose this for now. Hopefully it's not too boring. Anyways, this is just my TBR, so I do not have to read these books. So this book is about this girl who meets, okay, her name is Jess. Well, it's Jessica, but Jess for short. Um, says she has trouble letting people in, which is relatable. Um, and then, Her ex, like, recently left her, um, or not recently, it was like a while ago, before her son was even born. But then she hears about this matchmaking company based on your DNA, and she gets a 98% compatibility test with one of the founders, and then she thinks he's like stuck up and stubborn so obviously she doesn't really like him um but they said that they'll pay her so she takes the offer and we all know what will happen they will probably fall in love well not probably they will um because it's a romance book um but yeah and i just thought of another feel good um feel good book that would make me smile. I'm currently in the middle of it right now, Heartstopper Volume 3. So yeah, I could also read that for the month, but yeah, let's just move on to the next one. Okay guys, and apologies for the weird lighting. Every time like I shift, it just puts a shadow on my face. So I'm gonna be careful not to move too much around my face. Um, yeah, let me see if I can. <laughs> Because without the lighting that I'm using right now, it'd just be like that. And that's kind of dark. So I think this is better. Okay, let's choose the next prompt. Or you watch me choose the next prompt. Whatever. <laughs> okay. Ooh, did this fall out? Oh yeah, some of these fell out. Should I take it? <laughs> no, I'm not gonna take it. Okay. Take my time. Okay. These prompts are like falling apart. I need to like take them next time or something. Okay. Okay, we'll go with this one. Romance. I already chose a romance though. what to do about this um okay so i have normal people here but i don't know if this is exactly a romance it's like an unhealthy one i think just based on what i've heard okay i don't know for sure um, i guess this one then I also have this that I borrowed from the library. But I've heard more about this one. So out of those two, I'd probably go with this. Okay, so we're choosing this one, I guess. Okay, this is like a super popular book. So I think most people have heard of it and know somewhat what it's about, but I will give you a little summary just in case you have it. Um, so it's about two people, Connell and Marianne boy and a girl oh like they grew up in the same town but then at in high school Connell's like well liked but Marianne is a loner and then they have a conversation and then it like says on the cover something electrifying happens and something life-changing begins very dramatic um, 
and then I believe just from my memory I believe that like they meet again in college but then the roles are reversed now Mary Ann is the one that's well liked and Connell is more like a loner I guess um, yeah and then it says on the back cover that this is a story of about friendship and love and it talks it's talking about two people who try to stay apart but can't kind of sounds unhealthy <laughs> um yeah <laughs> Okay, I mean, I might give this a try. I got this from my free little library, by the way. It wasn't even on my TBR, but this is a pretty popular author and I've seen this book around before, so yeah. Okay, also my knees are starting to hurt just from sitting here. Okay, I changed sitting positions so I'm a little bit more comfortable. These are the two books that I've picked so far and still have plenty left to choose. As many as I want. <laughs> okay. This is my favorite part of my day, just doing book stuff. It's so peaceful. And I love how aesthetic this card is. <laughs> Okay. Non white author. This prom follows me around, I swear. Last time I got this one too. It's a good thing though. I want to diver diversify my reads. Sure, where to put these props once I'm done using them. I'll you know, just recycle them for now. So I actually been wanting to read this book, so I think I will pick out this one. Like I was planning on actually reading it in March, but I just didn't have the time because I'm already in the middle of three books. Um Let's see what else. I have this one that is by a non-white author. I'm kind of sick of reading YA though because that's like, I noticed that I've been reading a lot of YA and I want to diversify my reads in that area too. So I don't want to read as much YA. Okay. I could also read this one or this one. Or oh, <laughs> put it over my entire face. Or an emperor, ember in the ashes. But I don't think I'm gonna pick that one. Um, or the downstairs girl, because those two are young adults. Could pick this one or this one. Thing is, this one is shorter and it's like 200 pages. Oh, I also could pick this one. I still haven't finished the historical fiction book. Um, if you've been watching my videos, you know what I'm talking about. I think I'm just maybe gonna return it because I don't really think it's my thing. But I heard it's very good and it's like very fast paced or like it's hard to put down. So I want to like give it a try to see if I can get into it. So that's why I haven't returned it to the library yet. Okay, let me put that back. Okay, so I think I'm gonna go with crying in H Mart. Don't remember if I fully explained why, but just it's shorter than this one. And the words are, or the font looks a tiny bit bigger than this one. And also I want to read more nonfiction as well, because I've only read two nonfiction books so far in 2024. So this book is probably gonna be painful to read um, because it's about um, this woman who, it's about like, she gets a call that her mother has cancer. And this is her like coming back home and like 
to be with her mother when she had the cancer and also her coming of age story and like like how she has been dealing with the grief after um and also her story of growing up asian american and all that entails um it's gonna be a little bit about her childhood as well okay let's choose a, another prompt or i'm gonna choose another prompt um okay mm. let's pick this one Set in location that I would want to visit. Okay, I don't really know about this one. I think this one's in France, so I could choose this one. All right, I think I'm just gonna go with this one. Okay, so this is about a bookseller that comes across a bag on a street um, and they want to return the bag to the owner and the bag doesn't have any like contact info on it, um, but it has a notebook with like dots and jottings, so. Um, he sees this and he wants to meet that person. Actually, I don't really want to read this because I saw in a review that like it involves stalking. Like he goes through. No, I'm not going to read that. I'm not going to read about stalking. I feel like stalking is normalized in romance books and it shouldn't be because that's just creepy. Um, let's see. Let's see. Where's this set in? Seems like San Francisco because I think that's the Golden Gate Bridge in the background. Um, let's see. Okay, I'm gonna go with Truly Devious because it's set in this like school and I felt like I felt like I feel like that would be cool to visit okay so I'm just not going to give a summary for this one because I'm getting tired if you guys are really interested you can look it up but basically it's a young adult mystery um yeah okay should I choose one more I'll just choose one more yeah go with this Oh, I know which one this is because I put a star sticker. <laughs> Book part of a series. Okay, I think it's finally time, guys. Okay. Yeah, I'm choosing this one. Again, like the previous book, if you want to know what it's about, just look it up um, because I'm getting too tired to explain. But it's the third book in the Hunger Games series. I feel like most people know about the Hunger Games. Um, yeah. Okay, guys. Thank you so much for watching and sending you guys so much love. As always, again, thanks for supporting me and trusting me enough to support me. That means a lot to me. Um, yeah. Bye-bye. <laughs> there was a little awkward pause there because... Um, my phone said less than 10%, so I had to click the little thingy. Okay, bye-bye for real this time. <laughs>